welcome back for another week of church together. Last week we found out that all month long we are going to be putting on our shoes and getting ready to follow Jesus because everyone can be friends with Jesus. Does that sound familiar to you? That's the answer to our important question this month and I want to see if we can say it all together. Are you ready? Who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Wait a minute, does that mean your neighbor can be friends with Jesus? Yes! Wait, what about can your brother and sister be friends with Jesus? Yes! Can somebody all the way on the other side of the world be friends with Jesus? Yes! So let's say the answer to that question one more time like we really mean it, okay? Who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Nice job, boys and girls. Our memory verse this month talks about what Jesus says when he wants to be friends with someone. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19. Are you ready to try it all together? Okay, make sure you get up off the ground for this one. Okay, do you have your walking shoes on? It's okay, whatever shoes you have on, we can say the memory verse together. Here we go. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19. Great job, boys and girls. Okay, this time let's pretend that we're Jesus, okay? And we're gonna say this, and the person we're talking to is like way on the other side of the room. Are you ready to say it nice and loud? Okay, here we go. Come and follow me, Jesus said, Matthew 4, 19. Nice job, boys and girls. Whew, that was really loud. I think some people heard you, maybe even across the street, which is a good thing because you know what? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Well, boys and girls, today we are going to hear about another new friend of Jesus's. His name was Matthew, but uh-oh. Matthew hadn't always made some good choices. Do you think he could still be friends with Jesus? Let's check out our Bible story and see. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Hi friends, I'm Peyton. I heard there was a bunch of super fun shoes in the clubhouse. And if you've got great shoes, you need a great hat to match. Do you think we can find some shoes to match these hats? Me too. Let's see what shoes go with this hat. to get a job, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. All these hats and shoes go with really cool jobs. People do different things. It's true. And God loves each one of them, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. 
I'm Luis the Handyman. I just finished cleaning these fun bunny slippers for my sister. <laughs> She's having the whole family over for a pancake breakfast tomorrow. And we're all wearing our favorite slippers. <laughs> Everyone is coming. My mama, my aunt, my cousin, my nephew, my abuelo. That's my grandpa. I mean everyone. <laughs> hey. That reminds me of today's story. You want to help me build it? Great, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. We have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins in a town with lots of people. There were kids playing together, people shopping and friends talking. But look, do you see the man in the middle? That's Matthew. Let's watch and see if anyone is being his friend. Hmm. Do you see anyone? Neither do I. You know, there are lots of people around, but no one is talking to him. That's because Matthew made bad choices that made people very mad, and nobody wanted to be his friend. His job was to collect money from people, but he took more money than he was supposed to. One day, Jesus came to town. Jesus is God's son. He is super special and amazing. He could have talked to anyone in town. But guess who he talked to? Can you guess? <laughs> yes, he talked to Matthew. Jesus went right up to Matthew and said, follow me. Jesus loved Matthew no matter what and wanted to be his friend. Later, Jesus went to have dinner at Matthew's house. Guess who else wanted to have dinner with Jesus? Everyone! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of people who want to spend time with Jesus. Do you want to help serve them food? Hmm. Let's see, we need everyone to get a plate. Let's count how many people we can serve food to. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job! We served everyone who came to eat with Jesus at Matthew's house. Some people were confused when they saw Jesus eating at Matthew's house. They asked, why would Jesus want to be friends with someone who makes bad choices? Because Jesus wants to be friends with everyone. He wants to be friends with me and you and you and you. Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Hey, Ollie, tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is a friend to everyone, no matter what they do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Matthew made some bad choices, but Jesus still wanted Matthew to follow him and be his friend. Jesus wants everyone to be his friend. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? No matter what shoes or hats you wear, Jesus wants to be your friend. I have so many hats and shoes. I'm going to find a friend to try them on with me. See you next time!
Boys and girls, did you hear that? Everyone can be friends with Jesus, even if they've done something wrong. There is no mistake you can make in the world that would keep you from being friends with Jesus. Does Jesus want us to make good choices? Of course he does, but he knows that sometimes we're gonna mess up. I make mistakes every day, and you know what? Jesus is still my very good friend. Boys and girls, even if you make a mistake, you can be friends with Jesus because who can be friends with Jesus? Everyone can be friends with Jesus. That's right, boys and girls. Will you pray with me? Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, Thank you for this true story about Matthew becoming friends with Jesus. Thank you that I can be friends with Jesus even when I make a mistake. Help me to follow Jesus and go your way always. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. I just love spending time with you and doing church together, and I will see you back here next week for another true Bible story. I love you, boys and girls. Bye.